Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we will be discussing about the MCPOC and making a tier list for every single hunter in the game based on their uses in PvE and PvP. There are two unreleased characters, they are Count Thunder Virgil and Nightmare V. For the tier list itself, I'll be ranking the hunters in these categories. Scum. EX being the highest rank. Son of Spada, Triple S being the second highest, Apostle S being third highest, Human A being the fourth highest, and Scum being the lowest. We will first rank the unreleased characters Virgil and V, and then move on with the other characters. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Count Thunder Virgil. Kong Thunder is one of the unreleased characters for POC. He's available to play in the Chinese version of the game. I luckily have an account for the Chinese version so I am able to rank him right now. Kong Thunder Virgil is a lightning element based character who works well with one man show Dante and Devil Crusher Virgil. Without any debate, I'm gonna rank him EX. If you're wondering why I ranked him Scum. Just so you know, he has two ultimates. One of his ultimates is a rapid slash which acts as a substitute ultimate and the main ultimate is his cool fucking judgement cut end. He's an absolute monster in PvE and works well in PvP too. That is if you know how to use him. I would even prefer him over legendary Ronin Virgin. Now you know why I ranked him EX. So let's move on to the next character. Next up we have Nightmare V. V is Virgil. I just wanted to get that out of the way. V is easily the most unique hunter with the most unique playstyle. V doesn't fight himself. Instead he summons Shadow, Griffin and Nightmare to fight for him. So to fight other demons he uses his summoning demons to fight. He plays almost the same when comparing his mobile version to his PC and console counterparts in DMC5. Nightmare V is a ice based character and is a good partner for Frosty Grey's lady. He is an absolute demon in PvE. I cannot comment on his PvP aspect as he is not available in PvP just yet. I would rank him in the SSS tier, Son of Sparta, only because his playstyle isn't for everyone. So let's move on to the next hunter. Next up we have Devil Bringer Nero. Devil Bringer Nero is a recently released character. He's a fire element based character and works well with every fire element based character like Fist of Salvation Dante, Spark Ignite Lady and Knight of Order Nero. Nero has his red marquee in which he can achieve exceed his skill and do massive fire damage to his enemies. Exceed only lasts for a certain amount of time unless you spam his exceed. Adding to this is his ultimate which allows him to call his own fucking Jojo stand which adds a plus one attack and fire damage. He works very very well in PvE and PvP. I'm ranking Virgil's son Scum. EX for the above listed reasons. Let's move on to the next hunter. Knight of Order Nero. Knight of Order Nero is another fire based character whom you get for free for completing a part of the tutorial chapter. Knight of Order Nero works well with Devil Claw Nero. Spark Igniter Lady and Fire a Fist of Salvation Dante. He is a really good character considering you get him for free and his skill where he uses the blue rose is straight up overpowered. It deals absolute carnage of fire damage. His ultimate gives his sword an exceed similar to Devil Bringer Nero for a certain amount of time dealing increased fire damage. I would without a doubt rank him an easy S rank as he's not that useful in PvP but pretty fun to play. And by the way, he's okay in PvE but if you build him right with the correct cards, 
he is an absolute beast in PvP. Devil Crush up Virgil. This Virgil is the worst version of him, though he has Beowulf. I know I will get criticized for this, but he's just useless. I'm in no way telling that he is a bad character, but he's just not for me. His moveset is extremely slow. The only redeeming quality about him is his ultimate, a rest in peace where he smashes the ground. He is an okay character in both PvP and PvE, so I'm going to rank him scum. The lowest rank. Nomadic Lightning Virgil Nomadic Lightning Virgil is a lightning element based character and works well with One Man Show Dante and Devil Crusher Virgil. He uses his signature weapon Yamato which he fuses his attack with the legendary sword Force Edge which he can throw and temporarily keep his enemy stunned. Nomadic Lightning is an easy son of Sparta character as he is an extremely good support character for PvP as well as PvE. Endless Judgment Virgin. He is the daddy of all virgins. He is a physical attribute based character with bleed who uses his signature Yamato to slash through reality. He uses his signature skill, the Judgment Cut, to cut through space and time to inflict a series of slashes on his opponents. His ultimate, the Judgment Cut End, has the ability to absolutely shred the opponent's health bar and is a must-have character. He is an absolute god in both PvP and PvE and is an easy scum. Let's move on to the next character, Devil Hunter Dante. This adoration of Dante is from DMC3 and is available to play from the get-go. He is a physical and bleed attribute character and works well with Endless Judgment Virgin and Swift Arsenal Lady. There is nothing much to say about him except for his stinger attack and his ultimate Devil Trigger which boosts his physical prowess and overall speed. If built well, he can have proper use in PvE and if played well, he will be helpful in PvP as well. Since Devil Hunter Dante is given for free and an overall amazing character, I will rank him in Son of Sparta. One Man Show Dante one Man Show Dante is an electric element based character who again works well with unreleased Count Thunder Virgin and Devil Crusher Virgin. He uses Nevan, his weapon, to deal a great deal of damage to his opponents. He has one, his primary attack, and his secondary attack, which is extremely similar to the primary attack. And he also has a third attack, which can be done by tapping the dodge button after dealing enough electric damage. This makes him harder to use as it is impossible to evade at the right time. He is really good in both PvP and PvE and my only issue is with his dodging button. I'm gonna rate him in a possible only for the dodging issue. So let's move on to the next character. Twist of Salvation Dante. Twist of Salvation Dante is hands down the best version of Dante. He uses Beowulf to obliterate the living shit out of his enemy. He can switch his attack style with, the, with his skill button from his fist to his feet at any given point in time. When you time the switch, he can unleash a deadly Gatling attack with his fist. His ultimate is extremely similar to Devil Crusher version and deals a lot of damage. He is a fire based character and can work with Devil Bringer Nero, Spark Igniter Lady and Knight of Order Nero. He is a really good solo character who works in PvP and PvE. He is easily in the ranks with Count Thunder and Devil Claw Nero. So I am going to rank him SCUM. So let's move on to the next character. Royal Guard Dante. Royal Guard Dante is a bleed character who works extremely similar to his console counterparts. But his ability to parry has been extremely sim simplified. He can parry by simply holding his skill button. His skill is to parry his opponent's hit and absorb it. This fills up his rage meter which he can unleash and deal bleed damage to his enemies. He works extremely well with Legendary Ronin Virgin and Devil Hunter Dante. 
from what I've experienced, he is an extremely average character. He does not work well in PvP, but is extremely useful in PvP. So I'm going to give him the Apostle rank. Let's move on to the next character, Spark Igniter Lady. Spark Igniter Lady is the most useful character in the entire game. She can be obtained for free right now in the game by doing a 10 pull in the Devil Bringer Nero banner. She is a fire element based character who works well with Devil Claw Nero, Knight of Order Nero, and Fist of Salvation Dante. She is scum character for me as she absolutely carries in the story mode and PvP. So let's move on to the next character. Swift Arsenal Lady. Swift Arsenal Lady is the second free character whom you get in the prologue of the game. She is a physical attribute character and works well with Devil Hunter, Dante and Legendary Ronin Warrior. She is a solid unit worth investing your resources on. And if built well, she can be an absolute monster in both PvP and PvP. So I will rank her Apostle. Frosty Grace Lady. This is the last hunter on the list. Frosty Grace Lady is an ice element based character who works well with the unreleased character Nightmare Bee. She has a playstyle similar to the combat in the 1.0 version of the game which was only available in China. It's not available to play anymore unless you already have created an account in early 2023 or before. She can spam her pistols and deplete the opponent's health very quickly. She's a busted character in PvP and works well as a solo and support character in PvE. I'm ranking her SSS, Son of Sparta, as she becomes a bit useless mid game. That's it. Hope you guys like the video and uh, if you want to see more content like this please smash the like button like i want to smash more no, and hit the subscribe button to motivate me again thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace